welcome to Simple As That. I'm Andrea Kazee, and today I have Jenna Pearson and Bella Kazee on my show, and we are going to make some handmade gifts. Now, everyone loves a good pampering, don't we girls? And today we're going to make sea salts that you can give as a gift for someone to take a lovely bath. Um, the girls have chose two um, flavors of flavors. We're not eating this, but <laughs> two scents, some essential oils. The first one is rosemary, and the second one is lavender. So we're going to make a rosemary lavender sea salt um, soaking bath soaks. And then we are using a powder pigment to color it. We found when we had done this before that liquid pigment like red or blue, you couldn't really mix it. It didn't really work at all. But this powder pigment is edible. It's, called, it's made by Wilton and it is a, a pearl dust so it has an opalescence to it. It's really beautiful and it's edible so it won't harm your body and you, it, you can ingest it and eat it and it won't hurt you. So um, it's, everything in this is something that will, will not harm you but will help you. Um, the other two ingredients that it will have in it are just good old um, mineral, um, dead sea salt, and then Epsom salts. So girls, our recipe for this and our recipe will be available on our Pinterest page. So if you want the recipe for this, you can sure check it out there. It's pretty simple. It's just two parts coarse sea salt to one part Epsom salt. So what we're going to do is take one cup of coarse sea salt. So Jenna, would you please do the honors? And then a half a cup of Epsom salts. And Bella, will you do that one? That's what we're going to start with. These are products that you can find at your local department store. A pharmacy would carry these items. And so um, they're really readily available anywhere. And um, then, like I said, the Wilton, this you would find in your cake de decorating aisle at, um, oh gosh, any um, cake decorating um, place would have it. I know our local Ace here has it. Um, you can find it at Hobby Lobby. So, all right, going ahead and did it have a clump in it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and put yours in, Jenna. I'll help Bella get the rest of hers out. There's a big clump in her salt. Oh God. Okay. And it's usually best if you hold it over the top. Here, there we go. All right, go ahead and pour that in there. Okay, and then we are going to use an eighth, we'll start with an eighth of a teaspoon of our color. So Jenna, if you will hold that, or, and Bella, mm -hmm. if you will just hold it over the top, there you go. And we're going oh to God. use pink. There you go. This is hard. Oh. oh, that's fine, that'll work. That's perfect. A lot of pink. It's so pretty. Okay, Jenna, if you will swirl that around, and then Bella, you take the lids off of those, and I would put three drops of each in there. Two. One more, yep, there you go. It smells good. Can't open this one. Okay, there we go. This all has a more of a shine to it. One, two. There you go. Okay, and Jenna, you mix, mix, mix. And really, that looks so much better than the last time we did it, doesn't it? And the pearl essence of the, um, the pearl dust makes it really sparkly. Okay, and then the last thing you need, that's it, right girls? Mm -hmm. Is these cute little containers. And I recommend that you use some kind of funnel. So girls, let me grab the funnel. Or yeah, you could just use that. Yeah. Here. There you go. And by not using any liquid materials in this process, you don't risk the chance of it getting clumpy. Um, the last time we did this, we tried to use the liquid um, Food coloring, right girls? 
And what happened? It, it got stuck in the bottles and it, it got stuck in the bottles and we couldn't get the sea salt out or the it was it was very difficult but using the powder it makes it here I'll hold it over because you can use your <laughs> you can use your hands or use your little measuring cup yeah Good. Mm -hmm. And these little containers have a nice little rubber silicone seal on them so that it will keep the moisture out and they won't get clumpy and hard. Now, something that I was wondering, do you, how much of this do you think you would recommend for someone to use in their bath? Mm -hmm. Do you think one container would be about one bath? Mm -hmm. No. Maybe. Half of it? That's what I was thinking. Most of the time on like your Epsom salt, it says one cup of Epsom, one cup girls, that's a lot. One whole cup of Epsom salts for a bath. So this we're looking at probably a half a cup, but it's got a lot of fragrance in it. So you could actually use a little, like a half of this and then a half of a cup of Epsom salt or the Dead Sea salt, whatever you prefer for your bath time but they do make fun little gifts. And you can do multiple colors. We have different colors of, of our powder. So you could use blue for maybe if you wanted to do, um, let's see, what do we have here? Lavender. Tea tree, you could do, or lavender. You could do blue for lavender, or you could do. I'm pretty sure you can mix them. Yeah, I think you can mix. And so then you could them. do the pink and blue to possibly get a nice lavender color. And then you would have something for the lavender. Um, you could do green for peppermint or pink for peppermint. And um, I'll, we have a yellow, so you could even do that for tea tree pink if you wanted yellow, to. Yeah. Pink and yellow, orange. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, girls, how would you dress these up? Do you think a fun ribbon would be pretty to put on it? And maybe a label telling them what it is, the flavor? Mm -hmm. I think so too. So what I think is we will make available on our Pinterest page a small label for a container like this that just says what it is and how to use it. And um, don't you think that would be handy to have? And then maybe on the top you could say handmade and make a little sticker for the top or something. Or a stamp. Or a stamp, yeah. You could do a stamp. That's a great idea, Bella. On the bottom. All right, thank you for watching. We we'll hope you enjoyed this episode as simple as that. And we all of our... Um, all of these projects are available on our Pinterest page. We hope you will follow along on Next Tech Local One. And all of our episodes are available on our Next Tech YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.